Hello all, my name is Krish Nayak and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, uh, recently NVIDIA has released one of the amazing large language model uh, for synthetic data generation pipeline for training large language models. Okay, so that entire model name is Nemotron 4340B and uh, it is nothing but it is a family of models optimized for an NVIDIA Nemo and NVIDIA Tensor RTLLM. And with the help of this specific model, you will be able to generate synthetic data through which you can actually train your LLM models itself, your own LLM model. And right now, this entire model is completely given even for the commercial use, which is quite amazing, right? And it is completely open source. Uh, uh, if we go ahead and uh, and again, in this video, I'll be talking about this uh, entire model. We'll be seeing some information and I'll also start, try to show you the entire practical demo, how you can also go ahead and probably use this specific model. So there'll be a lot of things that are probably coming in this video. So please make sure that you watch this video till the end. So here you can see NVIDIA today announced uh, Nemotron uh, 4340, a family of open source models uh, that developer can use to generate synthetic data for training large language model for commercial application across healthcare, finance, manufacturing, retail, and every other industry. Okay. And uh, uh, over here, you can see this high quality training data plays a critical role in performance of accuracy and uh, quality of responses from a custom LLM, right? So when you are probably creating your own LLM, you may be requiring data with respect to a specific domain, and you don't want your LLM to perform bad. Instead, uh, as soon as we get more and more data, obviously your LLM will also start performing well. And that is where this particular amazing model <laughs> will definitely help you. That is Nemotron 4340B, right? So what exactly this particular model does, it is right now, it shows that like it has open source this uh, three models that is based instruct and reward models that form a pipeline to generate synthetic data used for training and refining LLMs, right? So these models are optimized to work with NVIDIA Nemo and open source uh, framework to end-to-end -end model training, including data curation. This is exactly fine, okay? And if you probably go to the hugging face, you'll also be able to see all the specific model. So Nemotron 4350B, you can see open models for synthetic data generation. So right now, these three main models are basically there. Nemotron 4350B uh, Instruct, uh, Nematron 4350B Reward and Nematron 4350B Base. Okay, uh, you can go ahead and read more about this specific model. Just go ahead and click it. Oh, you can see that hey, it is a large language model that can be used uh, for synthetic data generation pipeline to create training pipeline that helps researcher and developer build their own LLMs. Right? It is a fine-tuned version of Nematron 4350 Base model optimized for English-based single and multi turn chat use cases not only that uh, in build.nvidia.com also it is available i'll be showing you how you can probably use this uh, the base model was pre-trained on a corpus of 9 trillion tokens right it includes english page text 50 plus natural languages 40 plus coding languages right and uh, more information about this like how it is probably trained is over here and you can also use it as a chat model intended for the uh, english language so if you are also going to use this it again, again it is an open source again i will be showing you with respect to the chat also okay uh, again if i go back so these are the other models one more model is something called as 340b reward it is a multi-dimensional reward model that can use as a path of a synthetic generation pipeline to create training data that helps researcher and uh, developer builds their own LLMs. Okay. Um, now let's go ahead and see this. We will, I'll be showing you two important demo. Okay. One is with respect to the instruct model that we have. And one is with respect to Nemotron 4350B reward. Now this particular model based on any input, right. Uh, and a specific response, you know, we will be able to see that it will give this five parameters to just tell you that based on an input, how is that specific response? Okay. And that is how you probably go ahead and generate your own data. And that is nothing but your helpfulness. So five parameters will be used, correctness, coherence, complexity, and verbosity. Helpfulness basically says overall, uh, whether the response is helpful or not. Correctness, how much correct it is without any errors. Coherence, consistency, and clarity of expression. Intellectual depth required to write responses and all are there. Uh, some of the data set, if you really want to see, there is something called as the NVIDIA Helpster 2 data set. Here you can see, let's say if I'm going to ask C sharp question, this is the response that was probably from the LLM model. And based on this, this five parameters was generated, right? So helpfulness was three, correctness was four, coherence was four, 
complexity was two, verbosity was one, right? So based on this, you'll be able to see all the different different response based on various input and response. You'll be able to see that we are getting these five parameters, and that is how you know researchers were probably able to generate hundred k training data without annotating that how much you know, and that is how they were able to train amazing LLM models in short, right? And uh, this kind of data uh, it is said somewhere that they are uh, over here you can see when used with Llama three seventy B based model, we achieved eighty. 8.8 on reward bench which makes it the fourth best reward model right so they even tried by using this benchmarking on open source model isn't it amazing right now uh, let's go ahead and see this practical application so with respect to nvidia right uh, both this model is available in build.nvidia.com i will just go ahead and run and show it to you first of all uh, what you really need to do and both this model are there see nemotron 4350b instruct this particular model is there you can also use it as a chatbot let's say if i go ahead and ask what is machine learning okay I will be able to get the response and this is nothing but these are NVIDIA NIM hosted uh, it is basically hosted in NVIDIA NIM right this all open source models also which you can directly use it so just go to build.nvidia.com and uh, so first of all uh, what I will do is that I, I'll tell you to just go to build nvidia.com uh, once you go over here uh, you just need to log in and here you can see that you'll be finding a lot of open source model in this one of the model that I showed you is Nemotron 4350B reward right so go to this specific model click on this and here is the entire code that you'll be getting right so to get this particular code what you really also need to do just go ahead and click the api key so when you are initially logging you'll be getting thousand credits right now i have 942 credits to check it out but this entire model right now is hosted in nvidia nim right so uh, and already in my previous video i've discussed about nvidia nim also so what you can do is that you can just go ahead and copy this entire thing and paste it in your code so i'll just open my code over here right and here you can probably see i'll just go ahead and clear my screen okay so i have completely copied and pasted it my code over here the same code from openai openai then i'm using this particular base url this is my api key from where did i get my api key you just need to go ahead and click on get api key over here and you'll be able to get the api key so that you'll be able to access this particular model okay uh, which is hosted in nvidia name now after that i will be using this completion now see what model i am actually going to use that is nothing but nvidia nemotron 4350b reward okay now my message will have a lot of information role is a user the content is i am going to paris what should i see okay so this is basically one of the role with respect to the user so user is asking this particular question now with respect to this uh, i have i've just written my custom message that like what my assistant should basically answer so here i say content ah paris the city of light you should definitely i'll just you should definitely visit eiffel tower okay <clears throat> visit eiffel tower so this is what is my uh user content and with respect to that what response content should be there okay this i have written just with the help of custom now what i'll do i will just go ahead and print this entire completion now what it should do this particular model should give us five parameters which i have already discussed over here what are those five parameters that uh, we are discussing about so if you go ahead just a second uh, i will show you where did that go okay uh, okay nematron okay it should basically give us this five parameters helpfulness correctness coherence complexity and verbosity right and let's say if i'm using two different responses for the same input whichever gives the better uh, better of this specific result and again the value will be between 0 to 4 as said um, then we can select that particular response uh, and we can keep that for training our data set in the LLM model right now I will go over here let's go ahead and run this so here what I'm actually going to do I'll just go ahead and write python test one dot py okay uh, once I execute this you'll be able to see that I'm getting some kind of response over here let me just copy this entire thing let me open my notebook file okay and here you have this right as i said i'll be getting five values so these are some different values we i'm getting over here you'll be able to see this right so uh, if i hide my face uh, here you'll be able to see i'm getting five parameters helpfulness it is 1.60 correctness it is 1.90 coherence it is 3.07 complexity it is 0 0.404 and verbosity is 0.315 right our values will be between 0 to 4 so with respect to one type of response if i'm getting this particular reading let's say i'll go ahead and try with other response right and then probably i may get uh, some other readings and out of that which will be the best i can probably keep that particular response for my training the llm models right and this is so beautiful right and just imagine 
the power of this particular model is quite amazing right with respect to the training that it has been done and i can definitely say because nvidia usually uh, they specifically work on gpus but nowadays they are specifically working on deployment how to probably deploy generative ai models with the help of nvidia nim then you have this kind of models that are probably coming up so i hope uh, you are able to understand this uh, if you really want to know more about it so there is one technical blog like how the entire synthetic data generation will basically happen uh, and over here more details about it like uh, most of the fine tuning techniques we can use this particular data set that is specifically used and uh, over here all the uh, all the models uh, whatever has been released it is completely uh, there for the com uh, commercial use if you are also creating it and this is completely based on this reward benchmark right and right now you can see this nemotron 4350b reward is quite high when compared to all the other models over there like gpt4 nemotron uh, uh, gemini 1.5 pro and all so many different models and it is just topping with respect to each and everything with respect to the accuracy so yes uh, here also you can see with the help of this you'll be able to get four parameters five parameters which you are able to see over here and you can also go ahead and check the help steer to data set also so i hope uh, you were able to understand this particular video uh, go ahead explore this and let's see that if you are also building your llm model completely from scratch if you want to create your own data set for fine tuning you can definitely use this so yes uh, this was it from my side i will see you in the next video thank you